everyone. I wanted to share something that I think is really important with you for fence makeovers. I'm going to walk this fence line. As you, you can see that the ground is cracking underneath the fence and where the fence posts are. Now that fence post is on the other side of this fence, but you can see as we walk and you hear me walking on this grass that this grass is super, super dry. And you can see all the cracks and you can see all the spacing between the wood because it's so dried out. We all know that we need water, but you need to pay attention not only to your foundation, but you can see all the cracking and the, and the dirt pulling away from the pillars, the posts, and here's a really bad one. You see that? Why is that important? So you want to keep all this watered along your fence, especially where your posts are, because if we have a real bad storm or a real big windstorm, there's really nothing to hold this cement or this post in place, right? So what happens is it falls over. Now on this particular property, this would fall into a major street. That could be a problem. So it's really important that maybe you've got a soaker hose or maybe you can take a hose and uh, water it every couple days because you want your fence intact. You can see at this juncture right here, it's already leaning. The outside fence is already leaning and you can see the big crack where this post is. So just make sure, and you can see how this fence here is peeling all the paint off of it because it's solid sun all day long. This is not the prettiest fence. It definitely needs some help. It needs a wire brushing. It needs a good cleaning. But you can see down at the bottom, how we're starting to get a lot of space underneath that fence. And that's because it's so dry out here. So make sure you water your fences just like you would water your foundation around your home.